Hello everyone and welcome back to the Let's Play Tales of Grace's F5 Crafting Capital and in the last episode uh, we came here to uh, back, well we came back to the MRC Enclave and got plot thrown at us and in this episode we're gonna head to Strata. Sophie? Alright? If you have something to say, you shouldn't keep it inside. Pascal, I... I want to be human. But you're already plenty human. Your body's just a little different is all. No, it's more than that. I'm not like you at all. Asbel. Sharia. Hubert. Richard. Pascal. Captain Malik. You're all going to die someday. But... Not me. If I were a human, you couldn't leave me behind when you died. Help me, Asbel. How do I become human? Well... I see. It's impossible, isn't it? I'm not even capable of tears. No matter how sad I get, I can't even cry like you. I just... I just want to be the same as you. I wish that Asbel was my father and Sharia was my mother. I wish I'd been born human with you as my family. Asbel, I'm... I'm not sure it's a good idea to bring her with us. It's okay. I'll stay behind, here, with Sophie. I just don't think she should travel until she's feeling a little better. I'll stay here, too. I'm totally good at cheering people up. And you, Asbel? It might help to come along and clear your head for a bit. All right. I'll go to Strata. Well, it looks like it's just the men this time. Sharia, take care of Sophie, okay? See, a lot of the story for the future arc is all about Sophie and, uh... Whoops. Um... Her struggles and stuff like that, which you know, it's, it's not bad, it's just it's really sad, <laughs> you know. I feel bad, but it'll be okay. Jewels in the sand, a city of water and sun. Such beauty is the pride of every Stratton citizen, as it should be, no matter how often I come here. I can't help but gasp at its splendor. It's like a jewel box has been upended on the sand. A jewel box? Anyway, Barona is nothing to sneeze at either. Ah, indeed. The ancient castles and historic neighborhoods are as pieces of a shimmering jewel box that conveys our rich history. Another jewel box? Zavhurt may be lacking in traditional beauty, but neither city can match its sheer majesty. Perhaps it is so. Zavhurt is built from hard labor and workmanlike skill. A veritable jewel box boasting the artistry and craftsmanship of her designers. Enough with the jewel box! Asbel, 
Uh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> Oops. How nice of them to give us a funny skit after that sad scene. Thanks. Good job, game. I'm sure you're you're really good at reading the mood. It's good. Whatever. Yay! You liberté. Nice place. Yeah. I actually really like Yuli Verte, just because it's so pretty. But, you know. Catching up with the Oswells. Now nah, I don't feel like- It's been half a year since I visited Strata. There was a lot going on back then. But this time, I'll make sure to visit your family and introduce myself. As your brother. You don't need to do that. Sure I do. Is everyone doing well? Oh, the same as always, I suppose. My father is a bit meeker from all his political struggles, and Raymond is off traveling the world. Oh, so is Raymond doing the same sorts of things that you are? I wouldn't say that, but he's actually... well, he's following Sharia. Following Sharia? What do you mean? Well, I suppose it's a little more complicated than that. Probably. He raises money to support Sharia's relief organization. And sometimes he visits their operation sites as an inspector. I can't believe that! He's a... He's a... He's a great guy to care so much! Asbel, you don't? I'm just going to let this go. Yeah, you, you should just let it go. Asbel's a little... Dense. Anyways, I guess we could visit the Oswald. Let's see what fuck happens over here. I haven't actually... I, have, I don't even know what happens when you come in here. Hey! Probably nothing. Yeah, how, how's that going? Nothing there. Hey, how you doing? Okay, he's doing good. Moving on. Let's go see the president. He's a cool guy. Isn't that right, child? Goodbye, child. We're gonna see the president. He's everybody's favorite. Actually, he's probably one of my favorite of the leaders, at least. The king, or the leader, or whatever the fuck, the dictator of, uh... Fendel sucks. <laughs> Richard's cool. President's cool. This is starting to get out of hand. for her. I didn't know what to say. Few people would. It's a difficult problem with no one simple solution. Right now, you need to attend to business. You can make time for Sophie later. You're right. Of course. So, Hubert, will we see the president soon? Um, Hubert? Oh, uh, yes, of course. Worried about the president's daughter, are you? Captain! Wait, what? It's nothing, it's just a little marriage proposal. I never thought I'd hear the words Hubert and marriage in the same conversation. You're one to talk. Mother had plenty to say about you and her letters, you know. Don't you two have anything better to do than discuss my personal life? Don't look at me. Your marriage is all she can think about anymore. It is a sign of great trust for the president to offer you his daughter's hand. I know, and that's what makes it so awkward. If you hadn't sent that request for aid, I don't know what I'd be doing now. If you're this worried, Hubert, maybe we shouldn't go on. I'm not worried, it's just I don't know how to approach the President, because I have no intention of accepting the proposal. The President is reasonable. If you speak with him man to man, I'm sure he'll understand. Yeah, man. There's nothing wrong with that. 
So, how is your foster father doing these days, Hubert? Well, he spent quite a bit of time moping around the house. Was he sick? No. It's from when the president discovered his plan to take over Lant. You can imagine the repercussions he had to face as a direct result. I won't lie, those were tough times. But now my father and the president seem to be getting along far better than they were before. So, all the talk about you marrying the president's daughter stems from that? Hmm. Yes, that may be the case. Regardless, treasure the time you have left with your father. You don't know how long his health will hold, and I'm sure he still has things to teach you. There isn't much I care to hear from that particular father. The more I see of men like you, the less I want a son of my own. Does that mean you want a daughter, Captain Malik? Well, I suppose I wouldn't mind an adorable little girl. Adorable, sure. Until she grows up and calls you a pig, and tells you to stay out of her life forever. Hubert, does it bring you joy to crush my dreams? Oh, please, Captain. I'm only being realistic. Whether he's right or not, I do have things to report. I suppose a quick family visit wouldn't hurt? I already tried. You didn't say anything. I'm just gonna go see the president. I don't give a shit. Mr. President. Hubert, Lord Asbel. My goodness, King Richard. What's going on? Did something happen? We've received word that the Valcanus is under attack. Damn! I didn't think the monsters would get here so quickly. Do you know something? We can explain everything later. Right now, we need your permission to attack these creatures. King Richard, I couldn't possibly ask that of you. Please, I insist. My kingdom owes a great debt to the courage of Strata. I would do anything in my power to help you. Additionally, sir, I fear our soldiers will be no match for these monsters. However, we have recently acquired the power to combat them. Very well. If things are as you say, I will leave these beasts in your capable hands. Thank you, Mr. President. We won't disappoint you. Yes, acquired the power. What this power is, though, we're totally not going to specify for you, so don't worry, though, it's totally not the power that kind of almost destroyed your city half a year ago. Don't worry about it. Alright, we're good? We're good. Can I just... Uh, uh, just the... Uh, yes. Yes, it's this one. <laughs> I was like, are these the right ruins? Yes, this is the right... Oh. They just keep coming! Come on, let's lend a hand. Alright, so you guys should probably be a tiny bit careful in this fight if you're not, like, slightly over level like I am. Because we don't have Shiria or Sophie, so the only real healer we have would be, um, Hubert, who only has, you know, healing wind. Oops. It didn't break. There we go. Alright. So yeah, if uh, you might want to be a little careful if, um, if you're a little underleveled, because it could be a little difficult when you have fuckers like these hanging out and no real dedicated healer. I mean, you know, Asbel can't heal unless you chuck items around all day. But you know, she should be okay. We won't fail. Ta da. Thank you, Lieutenant. Assemble the remaining soldiers and hold this point at all costs. Yes, sir. A girl in every port. We need to do something about the monsters in these ruins as expediently as possible. 
Doing so will earn you further accolades and raise your stock. Soon the president will beg to have you as his son-in-law. Please, that's enough. It is not the sort of decision one should be coerced into making. He's right. But it's a truth of marriage. The higher you rise, the less your own opinions matter. You too, Richard? Oh, yes. An endless stream of Windor nobility keeps pestering me about their eligible daughters. I envy your array of options, Your Majesty. Do you now? I've heard talk that you have a beautiful girl waiting at every port in the land. Yeah, it's rough. Girls keep telling themselves and everyone else that they're my lover. Interesting. Might you have done something to give them that impression? Not that I can remember. Come on, guys. This is crazy. I don't want to select a wife like I'm shopping from a catalog. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. Hey, how you doing? Do I, um... Am I stocked on that? I'm totally stocked. I'm stocked forever. Okay, cool. Uh, I can't fast travel from here. Alright, well, uh, that'll be the end of <clears throat> this episode. In the next episode, we'll uh, go back to Yuli Berite, report to the president, tell him that we kicked the ass of these fucking monsters, and... I don't know, go to Fodra? <laughs> I can't remember what we do after that. I know we end up at Fodra eventually, but anyways, whatever. That'll be another episode. Thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.